YouTube, what is up? Pocket Profit come live. What is going on, everybody? I hope everything is going well. Um, if you guys are jumping into the video, uh, go ahead and comment. Pocket Profit come Oh, hold on a second. What is going on, everybody? I hope everything is going There we go. Forgot to mute myself. No biggie, no biggie. Anyway, who's all in the house? Who's watching? Let me know if you guys can hear me, if I'm sounding good or not. Let's see what we got here. Euro's in the house. What is up, Euro? Let me know if you're still in here, Euro. I want to make sure it's all working properly. Hopefully the link worked and everything as well. If you guys are just jumping in here, uh, let me know who is here. James, what is up? Uh, I was waiting for it to come up on YouTube. Okay. How do I sound, you guys? Huh? Am I sounding good? Do I sound really good and crisp and clean and clear? Let me know. I'm, I'm curious. I need to know if I'm sounding excellent or not. Uh, Euro says, good. Let's see. Let's see. Who else we got in the house? Come on, guys. Who else is in here? Let us know. Let us know who is here coming to hang out. <clears throat> uh james let me know if i'm sounding good i need to know it's important it's important that i'm sounding good that i'm sounding good <laughs> uh see if we get some more comments coming through here i just want to make sure it's all set up looking good uh, i'm pretty new at this going through the, the computer a little bit so it's a little bit of a testing process and a little learning process so for me, I need to figure out if everything is sounding good or not. James, you're slacking. Okay, crisp, clear, clean. Good. Thank you, Euro. Thank you very much for letting me know. But you guys, I need your help a little bit. Let's get this video shared out. Let's get it shared out to other people so they can come and hang out. Bernard, what is up? Yes, sounds good. Awesome. It better sound dang good, okay? And I'll tell you guys in a little while. It better sound crisp, clean. Better have no video droppage or cutting out unless it's the internet. You know, that happens. If the internet cuts out, there's nothing I can do about that. And it shouldn't, but hopefully it does not. But if you guys are just jumping in here, make sure you guys are smashing that like button. Let me know who you are. Let me know who is here. We got James in the house. We got Yero in the house. We got Bernard in the house. Let's go. Let me know who's here, who's watching, who's having a good time. And, and then we'll go ahead and jump into it once I see some people in there. So <laughs> what's up, Jennifer? She's too scared to be on the show. What's up, Elizabeth? Hopefully I'm sounding good, you guys. I better be sounding damn good, and I better I better look crispy clean, okay? I'm just telling you. I, I, wa I want to do some swear words in there, but I'm not gonna, okay? But... uh. Elizabeth is listing. All right, cool. Jennifer, we already know she's doing homework. Uh, James is saying what's up to everybody in the chat. Uh, right, cool. Let me go ahead and get rid of that. Put that on the old airplane mode so we don't have any more interruptions from my phone. We don't want that. All right. Jennifer says much better. Well, it better be. Dang it, because I'll tell you guys, you know, I really uh, uh, want to bring you guys really good content, you know, and, and not only good content, but I want to have good quality when I'm inviting guests on the show. Yesterday pissed me off terribly uh, with my computer, and I'm guessing it was my computer. Um, I don't think it was my internet, and I hope it's not my internet, um, but I went out just a few hours ago, and I... I bought a new computer and a new mic. Someone, uh, I think it was Lauren, recommended the uh, Snowball mic because it's a decent price and a really, really good review. Um, so I went and got one of those, and I got a brand new uh, laptop. So uh, it was expensive, you guys. I, I dropped a bunch of cash on some better equipment so i can bring you guys better content so i hope you guys appreciate that and i hope you hit my dang paypal up because i would appreciate it i dropped a buttload of money today on equipment so um i got it yeah i got an omen laptop which it's 
really high quality. It's got the new processor, i7, um, a bunch of other stuff. What's up, Christian? Um, so, yeah, it, I dropped a bunch of cash on it because I want to do better. I want to have better content. I want to have better quality. And I want to feel good about inviting guests on the show without having to worry about my computer crashing or whatever. So, I mean, it's time for a new one anyway, but you all know how it goes when you're in the store and you're looking at these price tags and you're like, holy crap. You know what I mean? And that's, that's kind of how it was for me, but I'm investing in it. I'm just investing in myself and this channel. And hopefully you guys enjoy it and appreciate it. And if you feel like it, in the description below, there's a PayPal link. Please, please. <laughs> you don't have to, but if you feel like it, go ahead and, and donate to that channel a little bit. Uh, James and Sam sounding great, looking good, awesome. You guys, this computer is very fast. It's been working so far excellent. I mean, I've only had it on for a few hours, so I haven't had time to put anything in it to ruin it. So I'm, I'm really going to try to leave this computer as blank as possible with just, uh, thank you, Jennifer, with just. My, my YouTube stuff, and maybe a couple other things. I really don't want to gum it all up. So I hope you guys appreciate it. And, and, and I'm not begging. I'm begging. I'm not begging. No, I'm just kidding. Just if you guys feel like it, go ahead. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you're right, Christian. I'm going to be writing the computer off. But you guys also want to know, like, understand that, like, you only get so much write-offs, and, like, they only take so much, you know, it... It's like, yeah, I'm going to write it off. It doesn't necessarily going to take all of it because when you're pro sole proprietor and stuff, it, it, it does things a little different. I'm not a tax person, but I know it's going to be a little bit different. So, But it is what it is. Um, uh, Naomi says the live stream with James yesterday was really fun. Yes, it was. It was a blast. James, thank you so much for coming. I was trying to catch some more fish. I was trying to get you guys, someone else, into the, the live stream to do another Google Hangout with you guys live. A lot of you guys are a little bit scared maybe, or you know, it is, it is maybe you're not set up for it, which is totally fine. But <clears throat> let me know if any of you guys uh, in the Facebook group or here uh, uh, in the stream are interested to coming on a live stream or a chat and you know, just having a, a, a video made with you know us and, and the chat and everybody watching, whether it's gonna be more about your life and I'm curious a lot of the people uh, in this chat learning more about you uh, learning about your reselling careers your your whatever it is and, and just just talking with people I think is the most important thing and something I'd really like to do so if you have interest in it if you're interested in joining uh, me and having a, a live stream together let us know let me know and we can try to set something up for sure uh, Christian says, I'll jump in when we get through the holidays. Very cool. Awesome. I would definitely be up for that, Christian. Absolutely. James ordered a webcam. Very cool. Good. Good. Uh, and he's going to try his mic on his turtle beaches. I'm not sure how it works with the mic and the turtle beaches, how that feeds together. I'm not sure. I'm sure it could work. Um, that's what I have, turtle beach, but that I only normally use that for listening, not really talking with the mic. So that's why I bought this beautiful mic over here uh and hopefully you guys said it sounds really good so buddy you guys if you have any interest in joining a live stream i would be i would love to have a video with you guys and learning about you as a person and what struggles you go through as an ebay amazon online seller or whatever and i think the people in the feed would also really like that as well <clears throat> let me grab my water i'm not i'm not putting my water anywhere near my computer okay not happening not Give me a couple like weeks before I like, eh, whatever. But for now, I'm not going to do that. But let's get into the show. If you guys got some questions or any topics you guys want to talk about with reselling or Amazon, eBay, Amazon merch, uh, uh, anything at all, go ahead and get those questions rolling. We'll go ahead and start talking about them and trying to figure out if we can help you in any way. Um, <laughs> Jennifer says sippy cup. You know what? That's a good idea. Maybe I should get myself a sippy cup. So if I if I dump my cup on accident, it doesn't spill. But anyway, <laughs> Jennifer, good. Send me a sippy cup, okay? We'll we'll set up a peel box, and you can go ahead and send me a sippy cup. As long as it's like a Harry Potter uh, sippy cup, I'll use it. But if you guys, like I said, if you got some questions, go ahead and start asking them in the comments. I can see them over here. 
um, whether it's, like I said, Amazon, Amazon merch, eBay, anything at all. Let me know. Let's get into it. Let's get talking. Um, let's see. Christian says, I just finally, I finally just sourced my first two FBA items that are not books. Hey, Megan, I just got that notification. Thank you so much. I appreciate it so much. Everyone, give Megan some love. She donated to the stream in the chat. And hey, thank you so much. I don't take it for granted. I appreciate every bit of it. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Chris, okay, so you finally sourced your first two uh, FBA items that are not books. Awesome. Now, are, they're not, are they, okay, uh, uh, read, write CDs and soda stream bottles. Very cool. I've never sold the soda stream bottles, I don't think, but I sell the, the CDs, the blank media, all the time. So very, very cool. Um, was it, uh, Christian, was it a garage sale? No, I don't know where you live. So it could have been a garage sale. For here, it's winter, so that's not a real thing. But garage sale, uh, thrift store. If it's RA, you don't have to say. Don't, don't, you don't have to say nothing about it. Um, um, but, okay, so it's thrift store items. Very cool. Um, yeah, I, I've never, I've done this old, never sold the soda stream bottles before. But uh, I, I, I heard, you know, they sell good. Um, that's good on you for finalists, but blank media. I've talked about it before guys. If you're not looking at blank media, what are you doing? You better be looking at blank media and, and that's, you know, blank CDs. Uh, uh, let's see. High eight, uh, uh, recording, whatever cassettes for video cameras, uh, blank VHS tapes, all that kind of stuff. You got it because it is, and they sell all the time. Um, Christian says, I do want to do RA for sure. Christian, make sure you you learn the process a little bit be, uh, before you get too far into it. Um, I would also highly recommend getting a repricer right away if you're going to do RA. Uh, good margin on the bottles, decent rank, really good rank on the blank media and margin too. Very good. But yeah, just make sure you're looking into a... Uh, 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 a repricer for sure if you're going to jump into RA. They're super important. Uh, Naomi, <clears throat> Naomi says it would be pretty cool if you had a PO box and we can do some unboxing videos. Let me know. You guys want to do that? I know we talked about it for a second. Do you guys want to set up a PO box and we can we can do some box openings or you guys can send some cool stuff and we can talk about it on live stream? If you guys are wanting to do that, I would definitely be interested in that as well. That's a good idea. Uh, let's see. Um, yes, I consider this baby steps. I am interested in inventory lab, and inventory lab, and a repricer. Yeah, definitely look at it, a repricer for sure. Uh, Euro wants to do a PO box. Elizabeth says yes. James also says yes. Everyone's saying yes. All right. <sighs> let me let me figure that out. Um, I'll figure it out. I have my regular address, and I do have a PO box already for some other stuff. Um, I do share it. So I'll have to make sure that we're, we're good to do that. And if we are, then I will give you guys that information. And as long as you're not sending me some weird stuff, you guys, come on, send some real stuff, not some weird stuff. I mean, if it's weird, cool, then whatever, but don't send me like mayo or something. I've seen people like get sent packages of mayo and it's just, it's just, it's strange. Don't do that. Okay. It's weird. Weirdos. Just saying. But that was uh, some cool things you found today, Christian. Very awesome. Uh, anybody else? Anything? Uh, uh, do I? I use B BQL. BQ. I don't know the correct necessary way to say it. That's the repricer I use. Um, just because it it seemed to be the best priced option. It might not be the best repricer, but for my level where I'm at right now, it it works perfectly fine for me. Um, I know some people use App Eagle, I think it is, and they pay like $150 a month, but they're like really high level with that and they need it as quick as quick, 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 quick. But I, I have BQL and I'm pretty low on the tier uh, of their, their services, um, but it works great. Um, like I said, I don't need the, the higher one as of now, maybe later down the road I will, but uh, I use that. And the other thing is they're, they, like I got in and they're, they keep updating, they keep getting better and they don't change their price uh, before prices change up because they're adding more and more things that, uh, yeah, yeah, 
James, that's how it's spelled. Yeah, they're adding more and they're getting better and better and better. So if you get into it now, you could probably like hold down a good price before they probably upcharge more soon because of how many more features and things they're adding. So definitely I would look into that. That is what I use. Um, so I, that's, I'm having no problems with it. That's what I use. I like it. So uh, Mama J, what is up? Uh, what is up, uh, Mama J? Uh, I sell on Amazon, mostly like ninety percent. I also sell on eBay, and I do Amazon merch and a little bit of everything. So, thank you. If you're new. What is up? If you are new and you have not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because we go live. We do live shows. We do crazy things. We we try to stay on topic, but most times we don't, and that's just how this goes. We have a good time. I like to interact with the chat. And, and, and everyone welcome mama j in if you guys would please she's new to the new to the stream new to the chat new to everything welcome thank you so much for stopping by and if you have questions mama j go ahead and ask him if you got an ebay question you got an amazon question you got an amazon merch question anything uh you think we can try to help you with or you're just not sure about ask it and we will try to help you out the best we can uh, but thank you so much for coming and make sure you subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Um, but yeah, awesome. Anybody sell something cool today? Did we sell anything cool? Did we find something cool? Did, you know, what What are we thinking? Um, Mama J is from Kansas, but I resell too. So you're a, a, a part-timer. She does eBay and working on Hangouts too. Very cool. So you're part-time on eBay what kind of things do you like to sell? Are you a clothing seller? Are you a majority seller of random things, whether it's clothing, electronics, that kind of stuff? I'd be interested to know. But let's get in. Who's got some cool things to talk about today? What do we got? Some sales? Anybody sell something cool? <clears throat> we had uh, we had talked about some soda stream bottles and some blank media, which I'm a big fan of blank media. Uh Let's see, what else we got? Uh, so you sold the jacket. I'm not sure, Artrax? I'm not sure how to spell or say that. I'm terrible, you guys, with reading uh, or it's pronunciation, okay? Uh, you sold some boots and some Kohan shoes. Way to go, Christian, get those sales. Uh, Mama J, I'm full-time eBay, but I do YouTube too. I have no niche. So I sell it all. Cool. Mama J, how many uh, subscribers do you have? I'm, I'm curious. If you want to go ahead and throw your channel right into the chat, go for it. You know, if you're interested, I, I said this earlier. Um, I'm also looking for people that want to come on a live stream and a chat with me and we can talk about eBay, Amazon, whatever we want to do. If you're interested in that, I would be uh, all all up for that as well. Uh, our, yeah, our, 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 I, <laughs> I'm not trying, you guys. Tonight, I'm not trying. I can't speak today, okay? Uh, Elizabeth said, uh, made six sales in, last, in the past three days. All right. Is that good for you, average, or is that slowing down, speeding up? Curious to know. Uh, found a vintage Nash skateboard. Very cool with Star Wars stickers on it. Awesome. Very cool. What do you, let's see. I don't know if it has much value, but pretty cool. You should check it out. Just do some general search and find out. Um, Mama J, she's got 154 ish. It's just Mama J. I go on Chick Pickers channel almost daily and hang out. Well, if you guys are interested in coming on this channel, let me know. If if you're interested in coming on the channel, we'll do a video together. We'll go ahead and have some fun. I would be interested in that as well. Uh, got me there. Got me either. Not sure what you mean by that. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, very cool. What else we got? Yeah, that skateboard. You should you should let us know. Do some research on it and let us know what kind of value you think it's gonna have. I mean, I'm guessing you got it pretty cheap, so that's why you picked it up. Or maybe it was just cool to you, and maybe you're gonna hang it up. I'm I'm not sure. Let me know. Um, <clears throat> as a skateboarder, like I I still skateboard a little bit. It's winter, so not really. Like I don't know the history very well, and I don't know the old boards, which. You think you would if you are a skateboarder, but I don't. 
So I'm sorry, but I, I don't, I, I know current brands. So if I see a current board that's being used, I know it and I, and I can tell if it's good value, but I don't know a lot of the old, uh, old brands very well. So it is, it is what it is. But you guys are awesome. Let's get a like spike going. Come on, guys. Let's get that like spike going. You guys are all here watching. You're not even going to work off that little finger. Get that finger work and hit that like button. Let's go. We got like 11 people and only five likes. Who who are you people? I thought you guys were better than that. Just kidding. <laughs> but uh, uh, what size store do you have? I just have, I think, the basic whatever store. I With eBay, uh, I've said, said this before, I don't like holding items. I really don't because I'm 90% uh, Amazon, maybe a little bit more, uh, Amazon FBA. So when I buy stuff for eBay, it's really just quick selling stuff, things I don't have to hold on to, um, you know, that I know is going to sell quick. And if I price good, so I might normally like anywhere from 50 to a hundred items at any given time for the most part, uh, just cause I like quick turnaround and I don't hold on to things very much. If it doesn't sell after a good while, I just sell it cheaper, 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 Till I get rid of it, get my money back, or I make a little bit. So that's kind of how my eBay goes for me. Um, so you're stuck with a premium and anchor. They need to need an in between. Yeah, but that's how they get more money. So, eh, maybe they will someday, but probably not. Um, <laughs> I would like it ten times, but YouTube don't work that way. They should work that way. They should just let you like it as many times as you want. I I, I agree. Euro, I agree agree for sure. Uh, skateboard value has a lot to do with what the model, rider, and how cool the graphics are. That's what Christian was saying when it came to skateboards. Yeah, I think if, it, if it's old looking, good condition, look it up. You know, they even make old looking new boards now that certain ones still have a lot of value as whatever components they have, the type of trucks, bearings, you know, wheels, that kind of stuff. Those have values in themselves. Um, so, I mean, you can check, I mean, like if you're looking at uh, a regular nowadays skateboard and they have like independent trucks and, and, uh, what is the bearings, uh, cross, what is it? Red cross bearings, or Swiss, Swiss bones. Is that the bearings? Uh, and, and like spitfire wheels or something like that. You can actually tell like that skateboard had, uh, some value and, and, if you even had a local skate park, if you found it, like I've had this happen where I found a, a skateboard at a uh, thrift store and I already had two of them at the time and I got it for like $4. It was like brand new board because a kid got it probably for Christmas and never wanted, never ended up using it, got rid of it. And it was a complete and completes are anywhere from like a hundred, 120 bucks for just a generic one. If you go to like zoomies or something like that. So if it's a really good condition, you can buy for a couple bucks and go to the skate park and you got no troubles having someone give you 50 bucks for it, especially if it's complete. It'll go super fast just like that. So think about that. So uh, <clears throat> John and Pam, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping in. I appreciate that for sure. Uh, Bernard says, no graphics old before Tony Hawk days. Uh, soul, solid wood grain. Hmm, not sure. You'll have to check that. Um, let's see what we got here. People are asking, so do you sell different items in different stores? Ooh, I'm out of focus a little bit. There we go. Get that back into focus. I'm guessing that's towards Mama J in the chat. But yeah, awesome. You guys got some good questions, some good things we're talking about tonight. I do appreciate it for sure. Uh, oh, that was to John and Pam, James. James was uh, saying that to John and Pam. They want He wants to know what, are you selling a bunch of different type of items in your store? Is it mostly clothes? video games, electronics, that kind of stuff. That's what he's he's wondering, John and Pam, if you didn't catch that. Um, what is up, Resell Devil? What is up, what is up? VA, cool, man. Uh, I haven't. I don't know if I've seen you in the chat before. So everyone, let uh, Resell Devil know what is up, how's it going? Um, if you're new Resell, go ahead and, I'm not sure if you are, Go ahead and subscribe below so we can get you in here. Make sure you're hitting those uh, notifications so when I go live like this, you'll get notified and you can come hang out. And if you got questions, you can ask questions. We can have a good time. So let me know, Resell, if you are subscribed or not. Let us know what's up. Everyone say hello to Resell Devil. And yeah, if you got a, re uh, a question on uh, Resell Devil, go ahead and ask it 
and we'll try to answer it and help you out the best we can. Chug in the water tonight. Woo! Um, Virginia, is that what you're saying, James? Uh, John and Pam, bought a PS2 game at Goodwill, our premium store, our clothes and basic in game CDs and random stuff. Okay, cool. Cool. What PS2 game did you buy? I'm curious. What was it? Uh, resell says already subscribed. That's how I got here. Well, resell. Thank you, devil. Thank you for subscribing. I do appreciate it. And feel free to share this. Get some of your friends in here. Get some other people you know that want to be in the chat and have a good time. Let's go. Let's go, baby. I'm pumped. Like, I'm excited that my mic's working perfect. My computer's working perfect. And we're just having better content, better quality. Um, I'm going to try to hopefully figure out possibly how to get monkey with my green screen while doing a live show. I don't know how to do that or how it works, but I'd be I'd love to figure that out as well. So you guys aren't just sticking looking at a green screen. But if it ends up being you're looking at a green screen, too bad. Um, I'm I stick to hunting for the high end finds. Uh, I'm really picky with finds because of having a good full time job and still. So Euro Euro saying he's he he's got. He's got the time. He, he he doesn't want to do a bunch of stuff. He wants to do just the high end stuff, and that's a good way to do it if that works for your system. So, you know, if you already have a job and you're part time, you don't want to deal with the lower end, harder stuff, and you want to just stick to the high end, and that works for you. Go for it, man. That's awesome. Do you, man? Um, PS2 game is worth over a hundred, two hundred plus haunting games. I like it. Was it brand new sealed, or is it was it was it not? I would be curious to know that. Uh, resell devil, no James. You, we can't call you James resell because we got James already in the chat. Okay, so you're 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 resell devil to us. You're your devil can't be James. We already got James in the house. Okay, it just that's that's how it works. That's just how it works. Okay, uh, Hancock is close in Marquette. Uh, why? Naomi Lover, I'm I, I'm sorry I'm ignoring you. Okay, I'm sorry. We got we might have a troll already in the house. I hope we don't have to kick her out or him out. Don't know. It is what it is. But <laughs> resell devil says I'm fine with it. Is Mark in the house tonight? Have we seen Mark yet? Anybody see Mark in the chat yet tonight? I haven't. I think he finally got upset and got mad at us, James. I think he got mad. <laughs> if he comes in the house, we'll let you know. Well, share. What what is the game called? I'm curious, John and Pam. What was the game? If you feel like sharing, you don't have to, but if you want to, I'd be curious to know what that game was. Um, there are lots. I hear people's phone ching and thrifts. Yeah, man. Uh, it really is. It is getting harder. Or there is more competition nowadays for sure when it comes to selling on eBay for sure. Uh, just because they've made it so much easier and smartphones have made it 10 times easier. So there is more competition. That's why you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket, whether you want to do Amazon, I'd highly recommend it. And eBay, also highly recommend it. You know, looking at, uh, you know, YouTube or Amazon Merch or Craigslist or LetGo or Macari or whatever, looking at all the options for reselling is very important for sure. Uh, James says he's Mark's in the house. Mark, you don't. I don't know if you want to go read James's last comment for sure. He was uh, talking about your your favorite pastime. <laughs> uh, there he is. But we're crazy on the stream, guys. I know we're a little bit uh, unorthodox, and I hope you guys kind of like that. That's just how I am. But. I'm just waiting on questions. If you guys got a question about eBay, Amazon, Amazon merch, anything at all that we can help you with, or if you just like having a good time and hanging out, I'm good with that too. That's all good with me as well. As long as you're smashing that like button, hit that like button. I'd appreciate it. Yeah, he's resell. Don't get his name wrong, okay? Jennifer says her phone cha ching today at the Salvation Army. I know, I, like, if you forget, like, the worst, like, not the worst, but you're like, I've had this happen, like, when I first started uh, buying and selling 
especially on eBay. I was at a, a Goodwill and I had all the stuff I was buying up on the counter and uh, I was just about done and she's like looking at me ready to pay and I have my phone in my hand. It's like, ka-ching, like super loud. I'm just like, my bad, my bad. She's kind of looking at me like, what in the world? But yeah, a uh, haunting ground. Okay, cool. Interesting. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. I don't think I've seen that game before. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for it for sure. Thank you, John and Pam, for sharing that information. Uh, 100 to 200 dollar game used on ps2 haunting ground very cool um yeah awesome 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 they close uploads and edits today for on merch are you sure because i uploaded i think one or two shirts today bernard maybe that's like recent did that just happen soon like recently this morning two minutes ago bernard i'd be curious to know because they they put me down to one and then like for some reason i was up able to upload two today so i don't know i would like a little bit more information on that bernard i'd be uh interested in that topic for sure for sure for sure for sure for sure um uh amazon merch accounts today were frozen yes update this afternoon well that sucks i mean i only could upload like one or two a day because they were slowly like putting it down or whatever Man, that sucks. James, have you noticed that at all? Did did you check Amazon merch in the last little while to see if we're locked out? That sucks. I, like, I understand it, but uh, I guess if you guys are just listening in here and you are Amazon merch, make sure you guys check for yourselves. It could be different per account or uh, whatever. But it looks like they're, they shut everyone down as in production-wise. They're not letting you upload any more merch or anything like that, it sounds like. Uh, I'm guessing it'll open up again after the holidays. So, um, James, yes, you should probably you should probably log into your merch account at least once a day. Uh, wow, they're not even letting you price change or anything. Wow, that's crazy. Dang. Uh, Mama J says, my merch looked okay today. What time was that at, Mama J? Maybe they're doing it in spurts. They're just doing so many people and then so many and then so many and then so many. Um, so I don't know. Let, let us know. If anyone has time to go check right now, go ahead and check. I'll be here just listening. Um, but that's crazy. Yeah. I mean, I I think they did it last year as well um, or a while back before. Uh, yeah, they couldn't handle the volume, Christian. Yeah, I agree. There, it's such new program for them that they're getting way bigger way bigger way bigger and uh they 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 fear that they won't be able to keep up with the production and i'm sure that's what it is so they're probably shutting it off for now just for the holidays just to make sure they can handle it and get orders on time and stuff like that uh let's see thrift store fba finds what is your go no go decision to buy when the box is damaged but the goods are fine well, if the box is damaged, it's not new, but if it's still like like new or whatever, and it's still profitable, sell it there, try that if it's a, a good ranking item. And then also look at eBay. I mean, if the if the box is damaged, don't sell it as new. That's all I have to say about that. If it's not you know, if it's damaged but not like bad, it just has like a broken corner or a bent end in a box or something like that, sell it as like new. And most times, you're still going to get the sale. It might be less money, but you should still get the sales to come through. I had that happen uh, when it, with some restricted items. If you guys don't aren't aware of this little trick, check this out uh, and try it. Uh, certain items, you know, are restricted, right? But only restricted in new uh, condition. So I had it was like a GoPro thing. I don't know what it was, uh, battery pack or something. I couldn't sell it new and i wish i could it was like 40 dollars new but used condition like new is still selling for 20 something bucks or whatever it was and i got it for like five dollars or something like that so i i put it in there and i wrote you know you know uh whatever bent box still new inside or whatever and it sold and i still made money on it uh still selling it as used like new so think about that when you're looking at it if you're the box is a little banged up and damaged but the product is still really new inside 
just look at like new and the pricing and make sure it still makes sense and then do that. So uh, let's see what we got in the chat. Uh, okay, just to close the downgrade and downgrade the condition. Yeah, that's what I would do, Christian. Just, just downgrade it a little bit. Uh, uh, even if you know it's new, but you got to realize new, it needs to be crisp, clean, not bent. You know, even if inside, you know, it's a hundred percent going to work and inside new, just do the smart thing and just put it down the level as used and then disclose, you know, say brand new inside box has damage or something like that. And you should be safe and good to go. Um, James says, yeah, my merch says no uploads, no exits. Oh, that's sad. Everyone take a moment of silence for uh, Amazon merch. Okay, that was enough. I'm a little bit sad about it, but I'll get over it. Um, there's a small tear in the SodaStream container box. Ooh, ah. Uh, you'll have to look at that and kind of gauge it on yourself. Like, I'm guessing since it's your, if you're concerned about it, then I would just, I would be worried about it. But I don't know if you can sell the SodaStream stuff used or not. So you might have to look at that. And then also look at uh, uh, eBay as well. If you can get close to the same money, then just sell it there. Be safe. Um, let's see what else we got here. How many items do I have in my eBay inventory? Are you talking to me, Resell Devil? Uh, I said this a little earlier. I don't like to hold on to items. So I'm anywhere from 50 to 100. Uh, but I only really buy the quick selling stuff uh, or stuff that comes back returned from my Amazon. Um, I don't do clothes or anything. So I just want the good, fast, quick selling stuff. Um, so I really don't hold a lot of inventory. Um, and, and so if I have it too long, I'll price it down, price it down just to get rid of it, get my money and my investment back and either make a little bit or, or whatever. So, uh, if that answers your question, um, let's see. Oh, you guys are, you guys are awesome. You guys are just typing away and I appreciate it for sure. Um, do you recommend continuing a premium store after December? Well, John and Pam, you know, this is where I got to be honest with you guys and tell you, I don't have a premium store and I don't have, you know, I don't, I don't have that. So you really got to look at it and, and base it off your numbers. Okay. And what do I mean by that? Look at your categories, like percentage of stuff you sell, and then look at the, the, the percentage discount you get for your items. So say, you sell 8,000 items, or let's say, in that year, and you're, uh, for having your premium store, your category, or whatever it is, you save 5% off each sale. Now, did that 5% pay for your, your store plus some? Or did it just pay for your store? Or did you pay for the store and your percentages didn't, didn't pay for itself, if that makes sense? You really have to crunch those numbers and find out if it's worth it. Um, there is some algorithm stuff that maybe it helps sell items. I don't know. I'm not sure on that. I've heard that can help if you have a higher grade store, you know, your algorithms better and you get better, you know, views and sell ratio, stuff like that. Am I hundred percent on that? I don't know hundred percent, but I would look at that, but I would definitely just crunch the numbers. If it makes sense with the percentages you save to the amount of items you sold, I'd say, keep it. But if it doesn't, then maybe look at changing it, dropping down or whatever. But you yourself need to really crunch those numbers and find out what works uh, for you. Um, let's see. Mama J says, uh, I would stay. She suggests you stay with 500 to 700 items. That's her opinion. Um, let's see. What do we got here? Is one of those cardboard boxes that is open on the front showing off the bottles. I would have to look at it. I'm not sure. Um, why am I allowing trolls to stay? I, I'm sorry, you guys, but I'm, I'm trying to read you guys' questions and, and get to the people who are answering. Uh, let's see. Who's trolling anyway? Oh, this person. I, I mean, we can just... We can... Ooh, hold on a second. If that's what we're doing, we can just go ahead and block bam now we're done with that is that does that make you happy you guys does that help out a little bit anyway uh what else we got in here Oop, too far went too far in the chat uh let's see yeah euro says it largely depends on the items you're selling too so you really gotta yeah just look at that and 
and do those numbers to find out for sure if uh, if it makes sense to have that store. So it's a good question, but uh, the real answer is in your own metrics and your 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 margins and stuff. So um, you you're kind of the one that's got to answer that for yourself. And hopefully by me saying that, it kind of like pushes you in the right direction uh, to look at those numbers and find out for sure. Um, what else we got? Uh, Luke with Endless Entrepreneurs has a calculator. Uh, James says, Luke with Endless Entrepreneurs has a calculator on his site that figures out what size store you need. That's some good advice, James. Uh, maybe look at that. Um, make sure you do your own research as well. Don't just take it 100%. Uh, that's what I would suggest. But go ahead and look at that maybe. Maybe you'll get some numbers and it'll put some stuff in perspective for you. And then you can make that decision on your own. Very cool. Very good questions, you guys. You guys are rocking it tonight. I do appreciate it. Um, but yeah, if you guys are just jumping in and you're new to the channel, new to the stream, let us know who is here. If you're new, let me know. If you're subscribed, let me know. Um, but also, you guys, get that likes going. Let's go ahead and get some likes going. Um, let's get rid of that. Go ahead and hit that like button. I appreciate it when you guys do that for sure. It really helps me out. Uh, it helps with the algorithm with YouTube, finding other people just like us that want to live stream, have a chat, talk about reselling, or just anything in general. It helps them find this channel and, and hang out with us. So super, super cool. Thank you guys for hitting that like button. I do appreciate it. Um, but yeah. Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Any, any, any other questions, comments? Those are some good ones, guys. You guys are doing awesome tonight. You guys really got those questions flowing. I do appreciate it. Makes it makes my job a little bit easier, right? When we got some cool things to talk about, you know, I like having new people in here too, for sure. You guys are awesome coming with new different things and what, you know, it's great. Mama J1, what is a good rank in toys on Amazon? Well, there's a little bit of, there's, there's a, there's a bunch of different ways you can look at that. Now it depends on time of year. Uh, it, de it depends ends on a lot of different things whether that item has been in stock a long time but lower the better so if it's ranked number one that's really really good that's number one okay um so rank is a little bit subject subjective kind of and there's some data that backs things up and and so like a good example is like uh you might have a toy let's say that for a long time it was in stock and it was selling at like it was a thousand rank. Really, 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 really good. Okay. Amazing rank. Amazing rank. Awesome. And then it went out of stock and nobody could find it anywhere. Nowhere at all. So none were selling it at all. And the rank goes back up, goes up, goes up. And next thing you know, it's at 100,000 or I don't know, 300,000 rank. But that's because none were available and none were selling to drive that rank down. So some of that stuff is uh, you'll have to just kind of figure it out as you go a little bit. Um, but if you're if you're looking at toys or something and they're in the thousands, two thousands, three thousands, those are really good selling items, really quick sightings selling items. But I sell toys up to like like I just sold a toy at nine hundred thousand in rank during Q4. So it depends kind of time of year, uh accessibility, how many items had been in stock before. So things like that kind of but if you're seeing that they're in stock right now or, or like late earlier in the year and it's a rank like 5,000 or, you know, 80,000, like that's a good rank, you know, look at the reviews. There's a lot of different variations with that as well. So, I mean, lower the better reviews also with that. And then you have to check like Keepa, Camo, 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 things like that. Um, Christian, I will look at that uh, after the stream, okay? Uh, he, he posted the picture of the soda stream stuff in the Facebook group. Oh yeah, you guys, if you are new and haven't done this yet, I had just set up a Facebook group a couple weeks ago. It's free. It's, it's just a request to enter. And you know, most of the people in the chat are in there. So you guys can have some questions you can ask in there. I'm just kind of building up a little community of people that are like-minded that have a, want to have a good time. So uh, go ahead and check down in the description below should be there let me make sure everything is there it looks like it is there so go ahead and click that link and it should bring you uh to the facebook group 
and you guys can uh, just request approval and I'll let you in and you can hang out with us Facebook and I normally let you guys when I go uh, l let you know when I go live and stuff like that in there as well so if you want to check that out go ahead and check that out um, Mark J says I'm really disappointed with Q4 I made no more than the rest of the year with over 500 listings you know, Mark, there's a lot of different reasons probably for that. Um, you know, I, I can't tell you 100%. I know eBay's been doing a bunch of different things with algorithms, titles. Just they're changing a lot of things, and that probably has something to do with it. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know if other platforms are just doing better um, or what. I mean, I, I know a guy who is like – crazy in sales you guys like i mean we don't know his numbers but he's a real he's a pretty honest guy and he does mostly amazon but he he put like about a thousand items or something like that on uh on ebay good items like i'm not joking like good items on ebay and he sold like a crap ton on amazon on cyber monday and sold zero on ebay now why is that no one knows a hundred percent but they were good items, like brand new sealed items. It's it's just something maybe changing or things are just different this year. I'm not sure, um, but uh, I can't I, I can't honestly tell you what the reasoning are. Um, you're gonna have to play with it, try some different techniques, whether that's price lowering or or sharing your items to other places like Facebook groups or something. I'm not sure, um, but yeah, Q4. On eBay seems to have been uh, for a lot of people different this year, and I think it's just their changes that they're making to the, the the website, their algorithm. That I think you know we'll learn it as we go, and it'll get better. But uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, eBay's Q4 has kind of disappointed me overall. Uh, Q4 has def been better for me, but I had I know a lot more or a lot are having a hard time. Uh, I think. Christian says, I think Amazon and eBay are two different, completely different animals. They are. They really are, Christian. I think most people kind of know that. They're completely different, but um, I don't know. I, they're different, yes. I think Amazon's a bigger powerhouse when it comes to reselling in a way, um, but eBay is a good platform, 100%, and I think everyone should have it as well. Mark J, I've already lowered my prices. I lower them anymore. I'd be giving them away. Maybe you'll have to figure out uh, the types of items you're selling maybe or something. Um, I don't know. Maybe people aren't as interested or they're not buying those items as much. Or or check the competition. Look at the, your same type of item and look at completed and figure out if those items are in general just not selling or in general just yours are not selling. That's what I would really be interested to know. I would look at that. And if they are still selling well, then you would need to look at stuff internally and try to figure out if it's just your listing or your feedback or whatever. Maybe something in the algorithm and check that as well. Uh, anyone in the chat sell on newer or other platforms besides eBay or Amazon? Good question, Nero. Um, for me, I've tried the Facebook Marketplace with little success i know a lot of people have success but I, part of the problem for me is i live in a very small area small town i don't have i don't even have a stoplight in my town you guys you know i have to travel for all my stuff so uh I, that's probably most the issue um so i don't have a lot of good items to go with the facebook marketplace um i haven't tried selling on let go or macari yet macari for me is like i still have to ship it so i don't really i I don't know. I'm already doing eBay. I'll have to look at it more. I just haven't done a lot on it. I've I've looked at sourcing on there, um, just like I source from Facebook Marketplace and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, if you guys have a, especially if you're living in a bigger town or area or city, definitely you should be looking at like Facebook Marketplace, looking at Craigslist, looking at Macari, you know, anything like that, anything especially local that you guys can do, like let go and stuff like that and see how that goes for you guys um makari is getting popular with the younger generation yeah it is you know their ads are everywhere they're annoying so much every time i click on a youtube video 
Makari, Makari, Makari. And I'm just like, I know about Makari. Uh, but yeah, it's getting pretty popular for sure. Um, uh, I do Bonanza and I'm just starting to cross post in Makari. Cool. I've never tried Bonanza. I've heard it's subpar. That's why I never really tried it. Um, let's see what we got. I live in a town with no lights too. Go Mama J. Me. I don't know if James has a stoplight at his, his place, but uh, I don't have a stoplight. Nope, no stoplights. Tiny little town. You don't have a grocery store, Mama J? How do you eat? Do you just do you grow all your food outside? Huh? I'm curious. We have at least a grocery store. Um, what else we got? Uh, yeah, J James says he's rural. Whatever. He lives in the boonies. I can't say that word right now. Um, I'm out like a fat kid in dodgeball. Thanks for the great content. Thank you, Resell Devil. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for dropping that thumbs up. And make sure you catch another video, uh, another live show. We try to go live when we can. Uh, come back. I, I appreciate the comments and the love. I do appreciate it. And hopefully you got a little bit more time later. See you later, Resell Devil. Uh, what do you recommend selling on Amazon Australia? Is that what you're saying? I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't sell in Australia. But I would suggest selling stuff that's still good ranked here, stuff that in general people are going to want, whether that's, I don't know, kitchen items that regardless on where you live, you're going to want them. Um, toys, I guess, is another good one, especially if uh, certain toys you can get here but not there maybe, that would depending, and if it's legal or not. Uh, you know, all that kind of stuff, brand new clothes, that can go plat two, you know, two different platforms. Uh, especially if it's fashion that they don't have or they're looking for just I, like without knowing or ever selling on that, I would definitely suggest like things that would easily transfer from place to place, whether that's clothes, uh, kitchen items or, or, you know, things like that, things that either wherever you are, they're going to be wanting for purchase. So that's, I guess my suggestion that, um, J progress. Thank you so much for asking that question. I do appreciate it. And I'm not sure if I've seen you in here before or not. Let me know if you are a subscriber, uh, where you're from a little about yourself. If you want to share that information, thank you so much for that question. Good. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, I asked, would you recommend selling? Oh, would you recommend selling on it? Uh, I don't see why not. If you're able to do it, go for it. I mean, Opening yourself up to pot more potential customers, I, I always think is going to be better. Um, that's why when people ask about the global shipping program on eBay, I tell them they should do it. I personally had like only one issues in all my time selling on it. And that's just me. But anytime you can open yourself up to more potential buyers with not much risk to you, I would say go for it. I mean, if you if even if it's 15% more people are going to look at your items and potential can turn them into people that are buying your items why wouldn't you if the if it makes sense in cost and things like that i would definitely look at it for sure um yeah that's a good question uh let's see what we got here kangaroos mark relax okay they're just kangaroos okay uh yeah i mean it's a brand new market jay but also, it's a brand new market. That means you could be one of the first people in and you could have uh, prime real estate, let's say, in the items that are getting sold there. So I would look at that as a potential good thing because you're going to get in before other people and you can price higher than other people because they're not tanking the prices or or whatever, potentially. So look at that and, and, and maybe that'll help you out. Uh, I heard shipping. I'm sure it's expensive. And yeah, I'm James. I'm sure it is. Um, very nice. Okay. Uh, I'm new to your channel. You seem cool. Thanks for the help. No problem. Progress. Thank you so much for stopping by. These streams are kind of just kind of a little crazy, a little all over the place. They're, they're a little wild. Sometimes I have like, you know, a set plan of what I want to talk about, but a lot of times they are just kind of crazy and all over the place. And I really like talking to you guys personally in the chat. Uh, that's, that's, a lot of the focus. Uh, I like to try to answer questions. So yeah, thank you so much. Uh, make sure you, if you're not subscribed, you get subscribed because we go live all the time and, and I want you to get notified when I put videos out or, or go live so you can come hang out with us because you know, you're awesome. You're, you're, 
you're putting some uh, uh, content for me in there, some information, some questions, and I do really appreciate it, though. So thank you so much for that. Uh, let's see. I just changed everything I have on eBay to international with global shipping program. See, there you go, Christian. That's what I'm talking about. Christian's just saying he just switched his stuff to global shipping program just recently, and he's already sold two items out of the country. And and that's that's what I'm talking about. They make it so simple, global shipping program. Like you literally do the same process. You just you hit one extra button, pretty much saying okay, you, just so you know it's going out of the country. Okay, and then you print your label and ship it off like normal. Super simple. And I think even if it's one or two sales extra a month, that's one or two sales extra a month that you might not have had before. So definitely, I would I would highly recommend that for sure. Uh. And his click-through rate has increased, so he's getting more views on his items. Very cool. Uh, <laughs> what do I normally do with the, the green screen behind me, Mama J? Um, normally, when I do my standalone videos and when I don't go live, uh, I have uh, programs on my phone to go ahead and and use the green screen for what it's supposed to be used for. Um, but I'm I'm learning how to go through my computer now. Uh, I really do like it on my phone. I almost run all my business on my phone, but with the computer, I can invite guests on. I can have better quality mics and, and, and things like that set up. And I'm just trying to transition a little bit to that. Uh, I'm hopefully to learn soon, uh, whether that's the OBS system or whatever it is, to where I can still live stream right now like I am and have that green screen be something else. I just haven't learned it or figured it out yet. So hopefully that will be coming soon. Don't It might take a while. Okay, It just might. But uh, yeah, that's that's kind of what it is. I and, it, and I really don't like the blank white wall behind me either. So I kind of would rather have it green. I know it's a little bit weird, but I'd still rather have it to be green than a ugly white weird wall. So that's kind of why it's there as well. So uh, what else we got here? Uh, Euro says clouds are normally on it. Clouds, mountains, things like that. Uh, but yeah, uh, Mark J, you're almost to 500 subscribers. I know that's pretty cool. I really want to get to a thousand subscribers, guys. Like that opens up some doors for me. So if you guys are not subscribed and you uh, want to subscribe or could subscribe, uh, it really does help me out, and I would really uh, appreciate it for sure. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, uh, rate help with rank on items. Uh, possibly, Christian, if if you're getting more views on your items. It might show in the algorithm. I'm not 100%. I don't work at eBay, but my guess is if you're getting a lot of click-throughs and a lot of people viewing your item, that'll tell uh, eBay that people are searching for those items and they might make yours more visible. Potentially. I don't know. But that would be a smart thing to do if I was them. Um, well, let's just go ahead and get rid of that. We don't need none of that in the house tonight, right, guys? I just caught that. Uh, let's see what else we got. Um, yeah, 500 is halfway for sure. Uh, uh, do, 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 do. <laughs> thank you, Mama J. Thank you for, thanks for the protection. Thank you for watching out. Um, but yeah, awesome question tonight, guys. Awesome. Awesome. You guys are doing awesome. Uh, yes. Uh, are you using hangouts or yeah, I'm using, uh, hangouts. Uh, it's pretty simple, Mama J. Um, uh, James has never done it and we were able to do it yesterday. So, uh, with the uh, Google Hangout and all that. So if you're interested, like I said, uh, doing a live stream or doing a chat with me or or whatever, uh, I can kind of help you through that. It's pretty simple, like on my end. I literally, you give me your email address and then I can send you uh, uh, basically an invite or a link and then you'll click on that and then you'll come right into this stream or whatever and then you know I'll start the broadcast and then we'll go live. So it's not too hard. This is only my second time doing it through the computer. Uh, they've made it really easy, and I'm learning as I go. And it seems to be pretty darn awesome. And my setup looks to be great. So I really want to bring some more guests on the show, and I think you guys will like that. And, and I do hope you guys would be interested in that as well. Uh, Naomi wants to get me to a million subscribers. Heck, yeah, you better get to work, girl. Get me some subscribers in the house. I'll take a million subscribers. Awesome. That would be awesome. That who? That would be awesome. That's that. That's a tall order. But if you want to work on it, you go ahead. I'll, I won't stop you. I'm not gonna stop you. Uh, uh, 
Hey, we got someone subscribed. Thank you so much. Mark J's letting me know if we had a subscriber while this video was going. If you're in the in the comments or you're in there watching, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. It helps out a lot. But if you guys got some questions, or if you want to just stop for a minute and hit that like button, I'll take that too. I would appreciate it. And I, hopefully you guys are liking this setup. I hope you guys are liking the mic. I hope you're liking the mazillion dollars I spent on this crap to make sure it goes well. I really want to have good quality items and things when I invite uh, guests on because I want to bring you guys good stuff. So uh, if subscribers start climbing, I'm blaming it on last night's video. All right, James. All right. We'll give you a little credit. We'll give James a little credit for sure. Uh, 12 watching, 11 likes. Who's holding back? Euro, you're right. Who's holding out on the like button? There's one of you watching that didn't like the video. Euro, get them. Get them, Euro. You tell them. <laughs> but if you guys are new and you're just jumping into this video late, if you got a question at all about reselling, eBay, Amazon, Amazon merch, anything at all that you guys have a question about, we, we'll try to help you out and try to uh, get this figured out for you guys. Um, that's what this community is about. Mark J, I need an HD video camera. I just use, I'm using a, a Logitech webcam with 1080p. It's amazing. I got it at a garage sale for like 50 cents. Or it came in a bag. It came in a bag with a bunch of headphones that I was going to use for shipments when I sell like CD players and stuff. And then a webcam and then a bunch of other stuff. I think it was like a dollar or something like that. So really good deal. I was going to sell this camera at the time for like 30, 40 bucks to use, but I knew I was going to need it and I kept it and I'm really glad I did. Hey, I've, did I really hit 500? You guys for real on that? I don't know where it shes, shes it, but if I really did hit 500, that's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome, man. I'm happy about that. Thank you so much, you guys. If you are in here and you did hit the subscribe button and you are a subscriber, you guys rock. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. So if not, ah, it's okay. I'll get there eventually. So either way, Bernard, 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 thank you so much, Bernard. I just got notified for the donation. You rock, man. You guys don't understand. Like, I don't take any of the donations you guys give to this channel or me for granted. Every cent of it, I appreciate it, and I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Bernard. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. So everybody in the chat, you better thank Bernard. Give him some love. Thank him a lot. It really does help me out. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Oz, you're late. What? What was going on? Where have you been? Okay. You, that was you on the button fail? Oh, Oz, you, you, you better go fix that negative. Dang you, that thumbs down. You better get on that. Yeah, someone left me a thumbs down. I'm not I'm not upset about it. Anyway, um, uh, now if we would just upgrade the... What? Anyway, any more questions? Get some questions going. We, I don't even know. Like It's a little weird because when I, when I go through this, I don't know how long we've been on for. Oh, we've almost been on for an hour. Crazy. Uh, really cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So um, anyway... Uh, the troll you got rid of probably. Yeah, probably. That's all right. Whatever. I'm okay with it. Everyone everyone perceives things differently. And all I care about is as long as you guys are having a good time. So, uh, yeah, probably. Probably probably the old, the old bum. But you guys, I didn't see any love for Bernard in the chat. Please give Bernard some love, okay? I'd appreciate it. I really would. He really helped me out. He's helping me out with that. So, uh, Mama J, guy's package got stuck in post, and he is opening a return. All he wants is shipping money back now. I got to call eBay. Duty calls. All right, Mama J, thank you so much for coming by. Like I said, uh, leave a message on this video after it goes up about if you want to do a live show or if you guys want to collaborate a little bit, let me know. I would be interested in that. But you got to do what you got to do. Have a good night, Mama J. I'll see you later. Um. Let's see. How long is merch shut merch shutdown? Anyone? I don't know. I actually just found about it during this live stream. Uh, because I had done stuff this morning. I uploaded two shirts this morning, and this is the first I've heard of it. So hopefully not for long. <laughs> um uh, Oz, they will give us an update on the 12th, but last year it was until January. Ouch. That's crazy. Um 
If I get to 1 million subscribers, am I going to forget about you? I hope to God not. I really don't. I, I, I really hope I'm not, I, you know, you can only know when you get there, but I'm going to try my darndest not to be one of those people, but I can't, I'm not in their shoes, so I can't say for sure. But uh, I'm like I uh, was talking with James with uh, yesterday. I really want to stay grounded and 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 do this and, and, and talk to you guys in the chat and everything. So, you know, only time will tell, but I, I believe – I'm not going to forget about you guys, okay? We're not even close to that, so don't even worry. Unless tomorrow I wake up and I got a million subscribers and I have only Naomi to think, you know, think about it. So, um, uh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Oz, you're getting crazy here. Uh, anyway, any other questions, you guys? What do we got, man? What do we got? What do we got some questions? Oh, come on, man. We got a bunch of dislikes in here. Who are you? Whatever. It's whatever. There's always a few people, but uh, any any more questions, you guys? Um, yeah, Mark, I think I'm I I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna be one of those people, but I just I don't I don't think you should like talk about somebody else when you're nowhere in their their shoes. So I don't want to like you know what I'm saying. Like we don't know a lot of people in those places and those situations with. A million subscribers we don't know how they are or their lifestyle so i don't want to talk bad about it and like say i'm i'm saying like i don't i'm not gonna i'm i don't believe i'm gonna be that type of person but i i don't know those people's lives or their style or what they go through so i just don't want to you know what i mean mark i just i, I don't i want to step away from that a little bit because i don't know those those people and their lifestyle how busy how crazy how many people commenting things you know what i mean like that that's why i say it that way so um let's see what we got here yeah it's whatever a lot of a lot of trolls it's whatever it happens i don't care like i mean i know you guys in here are, are commenting and having a good time and you guys are liking the video so you know that's what that's what i'm saying what do you mean not what i meant i'm not sure anyway i'm not sure what you mean mark i'm sorry i'm not sure but yeah uh anyone around nebraska here uh i am not in nebraska Oz, I do not live in Nebraska. I bet it's nice there, though. But if you guys are also, like I said, if you're jumping in, go ahead and let us know a question. Uh, uh, you know, give us a question about eBay, Amazon, reselling, anything, online business. Let us know, and we will try to help you out. Or if you sold something cool today that you want to share in the chat, let's hear that. Let's just let's just get into it. Let's let's get a couple more questions. I gotta get going here pretty soon. Um, but I really do appreciate you guys a hundred percent hanging out, having good questions. You know, it's been awesome. I really do appreciate it for sure. So, uh, any other, anybody else, anybody questions, anything I can help you with? Oh, and also if you guys are interested in that Facebook group, it is free. It's down in the link below. Click that and get into the group. Uh, a lot of us in the chat are already in there posting things. We find have questions, go ahead and do that. And I'll approve you. Also, if you're interested in becoming on the on the stream at all, you're interested in uh, telling your story a little bit about who you are, what kind of reseller you are, and, and just having a conversation, let me know in the comments at some point if you want to come on a live stream or a chat. That would be awesome as well. Uh, Oz says, sold a Minnie Mouse Chia Pet new in box today. Pretty darn cool. Hopefully, is it is a newer version or old, old one? I'd be curious to know if it would still work. That would be interesting to know. Um, but yeah, awesome, you guys. You guys are awesome. Appreciate it. Um, but anything else you guys want to cover quick before we get out of here? I'm just happy as all happy for the fact that my new setup is working. I did drop too stupid money, but I really think it's going to be good in the long run. I think it's going to benefit all of us better content uh i can feel confident when i'm asking guests to come on and things like that so uh I, it is what it is and i hope you guys appreciate the quality today um, especially when it comes to the mic and video and, and and everything so hopefully you guys really did enjoy that and, and everything so i'll wait like another minute or so if a good question or a good comment comes through we'll touch on it uh yeah christian no yeah you're right there's been no buffering and like no lag so uh, i really think 
this thing is gonna gonna do it. I really hope it does, and I'm really gonna try to keep it, you know, without some stuff and, and just kind of try to leave it as this type of computer. So, um, but yeah, it seems to have been amazing tonight, and and it's awesome. Um, Beast mode today for merch. Just got the okay to use our local school logos for sports, etc. Super pumped, and merch is shut down. Yeah, as I know, I just found about about found out about it as well. Kind of sucks. So, um, Mark J sold a big screen illuminated electra electronic solitaire game. Awesome way to go, Mark. I'd be curious to know which one it was. Is it the white and gold big screen solitaire Ridka, or is it the bluer version, or or whatever? I'd be curious to know which one it is. Um, what is for dinner? You know, I don't know actually yet, guys. Um, I have to go to the store. I was I, I wanted to get here and get this set up so I could still do the live stream with you guys. So I have to go back out in the freaking like twelve degree weather to go get dinner and find it out. Uh uh Mark J has steak and shake for dinner. Uh Euros has nothing I could think of. Chicken parm, that sounds good. Um, but yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna have. It's gonna be some sort of meat and vegetable combination or something like that for the diet and stuff I'm on. Um Man, come on, man. Like, it's so much work to just to get, like, to make another account. But, I mean, it's I give you props, guy, whoever you are, or gal. Like, I give you props. If you're going to make an account every time just to get back in, I give you props. I appreciate it. Uh, James! James, thank you so much. James went ahead and donated to the stream in the chat uh, with the PayPal link that is in the description. Thank you so much, James. Everyone give James some love in the comments james thank you so much i really do appreciate it it's amazing i really don't take any of it for granted thank you thank you thank you um mark j the yellow and silver version did i miss something mark oh this okay uh, that's what you're saying the silver where, where'd it go so yellow and silver version pretty cool nice how much did it sell for it was it on ebay or amazon also curious uh, there. I mean, if they're gonna waste their time, I mean, that's fine. I, <laughs> it's fine. I mean, he's just gonna waste his time. I don't care. I mean, it's kind of funny for us. So he gets a kick out of it. That's what people like that they get a kick out of it. So whatever. It's whatever. But anybody else, couple seconds longer before I gotta get out of here. Head to the store and and do whatever. Uh, love us some jeans. Love us some Janes. What does that mean? Am I missing something? Uh, Mark J says $69. And was it eBay or Amazon, Mark? eBay or Amazon? I'm guessing eBay? Not sure. I'm curious. Because I only say that because a lot of the times, it'll be more ex expensive on Amazon. Like, I've sold a, a sealed one on uh, Amazon that was selling for like $70, $80 on eBay. And I sold it for... Uh, 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 like 140 on Amazon. So it is whatever, um, for sure. You have to just check that. That's what I would say. Uh, James, yes, thank you so much for donating. He, James says he felt out because everyone else was donating and he needed to donate. So if you feel that way, it helps me out. Honestly, it really does. Uh, you guys know as a small channel, YouTubers don't make anything cents like 10 cents 20 cents maybe a video if we're lucky so anytime you guys donate honestly it really means a lot to me and i really do appreciate it so uh charles jackson just logged on what'd you miss you missed about an hour or so of of stuff but i do appreciate you kind of coming in at the end here um now are you subscribed uh charles mr jackson who uh, let me know for sure if you are. I'm curious to know if you are. Uh, I'm James. I'm I'm lost here. Uh, better watch from the beginning. Yeah, Charles, are you a subscriber? Let me know. And if you're not, please subscribe and, and hit the bell notification and get notified. So when I uh, go live, it will notify you, and you can jump directly in when we start. So uh, it it really would help you. Uh, get here a little sooner so uh, you don't miss anything for show for sure. Uh, oh, <laughs> Ural tell, is telling Charles that they're taking turns being late. Yeah, that's pretty much what happened to you, Ural. You came in about an hour late. So, uh, 
<laughs> it it is it is uh kind of funny that way um but uh charles if you had a quick question something that you uh you had something you you really had a quick question you wanted to ask uh before i get off here you know if you can get that in the comments pretty quick here i'll try to answer that um i'll wait about another minute or so and then we'll go through the shameless plug and doing all that stuff so and Naomi, I think they know. I, I, I don't know. I'm sure YouTube kind of understands like trolls and things like that, and it's whatever. Uh, Bernard, have a good evening. See you later, Bernard. Hey, thank you so much for coming. I do really appreciate it, and thank you so much for that donation, Bernard. It really does mean a lot. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we'll see you later, Bernard. All right, Charles, I'm not seeing any comments come through. So we're going to probably end this up and we're going to wrap it up. So uh, I think we're going to start. So, uh, all right, cool, cool. All right, let's go through the shameless plug, guys. All right, if you guys are just jumping in or haven't been here, please hit that like button. It really does help me out with ranking and algorithm to help other people find this channel. Uh, I really would appreciate it. Um, and also you guys join that Facebook group that is in the description below. Uh, uh, go ahead and click that, get over to the Facebook group and apply and I'll approve you. And, and it'd be nice to see you guys there in that community, uh, and, and sharing and just being a good support system for everybody. And I would appreciate it. I think down below there is some affiliate links to some products. If they're still on sale, there's some bubble wrap. That was a, a decent deal on sale. Some tape that was on sale and a small light uh, 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 light box that was like normally 80, that's like 30, 40 bucks right now that was on sale. Um, if you guys are needing any of those, go ahead and check them out if you wanna purchase them. I get a teeny bit of that sale, don't have to. I just thought they were a good deal, so I put them in there. And then also, uh, if you guys enjoy the stream, if you enjoy this channel at all, anything at all, and you wanna donate to the stream, to the channel, there is a PayPal uh, on, in the description below. Uh, uh, James did, donated, uh, and and uh, he just got done. Then we had uh, uh, Bernard and we had Megan all donated to the stream tonight. You guys are rock stars. I really do appreciate it. It's just amazing. Thank you so much for doing that. But if you guys have any value uh, to the stream or this chat or anything and you like this and you want to uh, throw a dollar this way or something, you don't have to, guys. But if you want to, it's there. You don't have to, but it's there if you want to. And I don't take it for granted at all. So. That's all I have for you guys tonight. Thank you so much for, for coming, uh, hanging out with the chat, the stream. It was amazing. I really hope you guys like this new setup, and I hope it, it continues to work as good as it is. And after this video uploads, or, or in a past video, one of my more recent ones, if you're interested on coming on the stream or coming onto the chat or, or whatever, doing a video with me, let me know, and we'll try to set something up, and, and we'll have a good time, because I'm curious about, to know more about you guys as well. So. That's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for coming. I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow, possibly. It might be at that weird spot on Wednesdays, but Thursday for sure we'll have another live stream. So uh, thank you, Charles, for subbing. I do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But that's all I got today, guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Pocket Profit out.